Last week I recorded a video how I photography product on white background to use two lamp and easy setup, not expensive uh, stuff to use for this type of photography like uh, the product photography on white background that sometimes somebody call is pack shot photography and exactly this photo on the end was the result of this photo but I have few questions uh, about how I editing the photo, what I use, Lightroom or Photoshop or can I show how I editing step by step this photo and exactly today I want to show you how I editing this photo step by step use only Lightroom. Let's go! Before I start to talk about how I editing exactly this photo in Lightroom I want to talk about this project. This was project for my one client. He has Hane, of course, like you see on the photo. I must do photography product like do uh, this photo, the type of the product photography on white background, the same lifestyle photo with the uh, how you can use uh, this Hane and prepare some food. That was the project. But what I want to say, this type of the photography was easy because the clients don't want to stray away have clean background because him website is little different color than white pure white he want little different that for me was more easy to editing this in lightroom because i don't must to jump for photoshop and do step by step the photo perfect cut the product and make uh, in a white background pure white background i can use uh, only few uh, here tools and make little different color the background what was more easy for me that's i chose only lightroom editing this photo in lightroom but normal what i do when i must work on white background like this background i editing the photo in photoshop straight away i go to in photoshop i editing if i don't like some colors or something i editing in uh, lightroom later but normal i start editing in photoshop if i know it's like uh, i must cut the background change the background maybe change the color of the background for me it's more easy to work in photoshop but this time i work only in lightroom this was easy for me because sometimes the clients want the photo looks like have shadow like here around the photo is shadow more or a stronger shadow and you must to do that in uh, photoshop but when I photograph here, I straight away have shadows and my clients like this. I don't must to change. I sent him photo. He approved the photo what I do only in uh, Lightroom editing. Now we jump for editing this. But remember, so sometimes you will be need Photoshop. Sometimes you will be only need uh, Lightroom. You can find below the link for my old video when I show step by step how I editing a product on white background. Uh, use exactly the Photoshop. But now let's go for this uh, photo and editing this photo in Lightroom. The photo looks that before. Now uh, is after editing. Looks that uh, looks different. Nice, more clear. The label. The the most important things like always is label the logo and everything clean the product. I reset this editing. Like you see, the photo is completely different. Not straight. Uh, uh, the product is not straight on the photo here some stuff have around I use the lens uh, here uh, uh, the lens Canon 50mm 1.8 but my aperture was uh, 16 I chose that because when you photograph product photography you won't have like a product sharp label sharp and for me number 16 F16 is the best I know this always work uh, for me and when I use 16, I really have sharp photo and logo is sharp. The product looks the best and I never have problem later with editing. ISO, like you see here, is 100. I use that ISO because I don't need so much bright because I use the lamp, artificial light. I use two lamps for this photo and there is like artificial light. I can control uh, how strong is the light. When I uh, that is more easy for me to work with artificial light and I love when I work with artificial light and I must do photography product and another thing is shutter speed 1.10 but believe me this don't say you nothing because every camera lens is different 
your lights can be less uh, strong than my lights what i use for this shoot this photography this product and straight away the uh, your uh, shutter speed 1.10 will be nothing will be dark too dark or will be not good for all these parameters what you have here that's when you work on uh, you change your camera or start to work manual no automat you must to learn these three parameters and to understand this but if you want to see the video that i done about this product the link you find below there is step by step all video about how i make this photo which lamp i use lights how i set up my lamp uh, background product what I, uh, and camera and i use the tether cable and parameters what i use the link you find below about this video but now back for this uh, video here is all parameter but next things uh, what is we start to from the um, first maybe crop this photo make straight and crop because it's too big for me i use the the tools uh, crop like you see straight and i want to make products more clear more close more nice I try to do all these things uh, together. That's, we'll see. Oh, looks better. Looks better than was. Of course, always we can change this. Make uh, bigger, longer. If you want, you crop uh, your uh, product, and you see like easy. Now looks better, and I think it's like little not straight still, for me. yes now is perfect another things what we do uh, now we start straight away will be do exposure contrast highlights shadows and uh, the light things to make more bright more sharp the logo everything step by step but i'm little no happy with the product is little dusty this will be last things what i do and spend the most time and here this side and this side jar and level have some small things that uh, black because there is all information about this honey but i know my clients don't want to see this uh, and the clients want, uh, don't want to see on the label something in the back that's i will be delayed these things uh, later but first we change maybe a little uh, working on exposure I think that is perfect next contrast perfect another thing is highlights i give little down i don't want opposite i want down minus because i will be work on color something different 50 something perfect another things is shadows i want little little uh, shadows on plus and the white now because i want to white looks like a nice white black i don't think i will be touching no i will be left on uh, zero another things what we use the temperature is perfect for me uh, I don't want to change the temperature, nothing here, vibrant saturation, not yet. We will be work on texture now. Another thing is texture because I want to do the labels sharp, nice logo to see when you will be zoom. Everything is sharp like here, but will be more clear, more uh, sharp. Texture, maybe that and uh, clarity is next i don't work on clarity so big because if you give clarity too much you see what's happened with the product it don't looks nice i always work more on texture than clarity and i recommend uh, more work on texture than clarity be too much little perfect another things not everything like you see when i uh, i don't use too big i also but i still have like little uh, blur not sharp these things and we use 
really for these tools uh, the illumination for reduction of the noise what you see on the photo straight away you have noise 100% and color maybe we give like 50 yes and other things like you see now looks really nice uh, the jar but I think the label need a little color and uh, the logo and the jar the gold things uh, need like we work on the orange color and uh, yellow color this will be the best two colors what I use here maybe here on saturation a little we change mm -hmm. I like that and on yellow color we change saturation and illumination little too much I think 11 and illumination I think the color is perfect the logo is perfect like you see the jar is little little da uh, bl uh, dirty I didn't do clean good now I will be like but it's dirty we must to work on this uh, uh, clean this product I use the tools uh, here what we have remove first tools from the uh, the remove tools it's easy to use you can of course zoom this looks uh, see more clear more better like you see is here dirty the same here is dirty like you see still something is there now it's perfect here is something dirty and other things here you zoom you use these tools and should be I think should be all right nice we check how looks the jar the top the same here is dirty something you click and everything disappeared you have nice clean product you do the uh, clean all your product this take me the most time when I editing the photo the clean the product is like uh, takes so much time here is something white I want the same that de uh, delayed is everything what I done here when I editing this uh, photo nothing more my clients don't want it pure white the background I have like easy job here to do wasn't that complication and other things if I will be normal editing this photo I will be jump for Photoshop I will be do like here maybe little color maybe little texture uh, editing and later I will be finish this in Lightroom and I will be go and open this in Photoshop's cut the product and change the background that would be my job really my job extra if of course the uh, clients want shadow like I have here on this photo I will be really use uh, do shadows or cut the product and later make uh, shadows in Photoshop but will be that easy this is everything what I done on this photo nothing more but remember when you photograph the product your product must be clean you have less job for editing this product uh, if you want to see uh, how I uh, really work on in Photoshop and editing this uh, product you can find that video below I left the link below there is like my old video about some pr uh, product what I work on white background and use only Photoshop for editing this product but this time I use Lightroom you can use Lightroom you can use Photoshop what you want I hope you like this video and you learn something new you see it's not so complicated if you understand how work each tools in Lightroom you can easy uh, editing the photo make your style make the photo what you want bright a uh, good label the logo is sharp product looks nice and that's it this is uh, what you should to know when you wanted to editing the product on white background but use only Lightroom